afternoon folks big bow with rvs with big bow at parkway rv center and guys fate never lets you down well most of the time for the good sometimes for the bad of course but i've got one i didn't think i'd ever get to shoot uh we got it in a couple of weeks ago gentlemen seen it left the deposit on it right away and um, come to find out this morning that he was in his late 70s kids got involved said he wasn't able to drive this even though he could i rode with him so he backed out of the deal even though i feel sorry for him that he's not going to get this great coach i get a chance to film it and show y'all and um i love this one guys that's why i'm doing this face-to-face -face thing check it out this is the legend blast from the past 2001 american dream 40 dms diesel pusher guys well, you've heard me say plenty of times they don't build them like this anymore this is a prime 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 example of that one of the best built class a diesels of the era of course this is not a cheap motor home it's not cheap now it wasn't cheap back then i got it for 54 9 motor home like this today brand new is five to six hundred thousand dollars for one this quality the new american coaches guys that they build now are nothing kind of like holiday rambler and the newer ones are nothing like they used to be quality wise or price wise uh, this particular one has got eighty-two thousand miles built on the spartan gt master chassis it's got a 7.5 onan diesel generator running right now diesel of course it pretty much if it had it available you could get in a motorhome in 2001 these have it these were pretty much the best of the best of everything the chassis the motor was an 8.3 cummins isc turbo diesel 350 horsepower and 1050 pound feet of torque with a 10,000 pound tow capacity it does have the allison 3000 six-speed transmission you know, somebody's upgraded the awning over the years with a power awning. It's got a door awning, fiberglass roof. Look at this big bug shield on the front, this clear acrylic bug shield. Two slides, 40 feet long. Big old 22 and a half inch truck tires on it. Big truck tires drive great i drove this thing up the interstate guys the uh, gentleman that was going to buy it he lived about 20 minutes from us and he was worried about backing it up his driveway and dragging and so i actually me and him actually went up the road in it and uh and i backed it up his driveway and pulled it right out the first time without even close to scraping because he was on a kind of a weird curved angle and uh and he drove it back and Guys, let me tell you something from driving this coach. And I may be showing my age, and, you know, saying this, but any of y'all have ever drove a Lincoln Town car, you know, like on a long trip or long distance. And guys, this is about as close to that experience for those of you that have that you're going to get in a motorhome. It's like sitting in a huge plush recliner riding on a cloud of air. I've never seen a motorhome drive like this one does in, in all my years. And, and it's been like that with every American coach I've ever driven. Part of that is because of the heavy duty chassis and the weight. This thing's almost 29,000 pounds unloaded vehicle weight. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy motorhome. And all that weight gives you an incredible drive. And for the time, that Spartan GT mountain chassis was the best you could buy. It had independent front suspension, anti-lock brakes all the way around. Of course, there's air brakes, air ride, all that good stuff. Um, but, I mean, not even a 2022 model is going to ride and drive like this one does. No way. And you can see the outside of this thing's absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you something. I don't even need a coach this big, but I wanted to buy it after I got back from driving it. And again, I feel sorry for the customer. I, I don't know if you've seen this video or not, but like I said, I, you know, I, I guess his kids got involved and they didn't want him to spend his inheritance or something, and which is pretty much what he said. So that's why he couldn't buy it. Anyway, 
and it's got the alcoa wheels full i got pictures of the belly storage it's got full pass-through storage huge belly basement 10 gallon dsi water heater i got pictures on the website link in the video description below if you want to see the uh, uh, the storage bays you've got a window awning um wow both slides on the driver's side Let's look inside this beautiful motor coach, guys. 54.9. I really think we're underselling this thing by about 10 to 15 grand, but that's just me. You know, we got a good buy when we bought it, so we're selling it to a good buy. There's nothing like it on the market today for 54.9. I can guarantee you that. Nothing like it out there, period. Not even close. 82,581 miles. Backup camera work, six speed Allison. Got the exhaust brake. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out we are working on this. Um, the turn signals weren't working. And the shop had actually had to take the switch out. And they found one and they're ordering it, but it's gonna take several days to get here. So, but I do have all the covers for the steering column. We're not going to put it back into the new switch gets here We put it in to fix the blinkers So Nothing's wrong there. It's just I didn't want to wait because I knew this somebody walking through the lot will see this and buy it So I wanted to I missed out on it the first time. So I definitely wanted to get it on this time And look at these seats. I'm gonna tell you, these are the most comfortable captain's chairs I've ever seen in a RV. And they're flex steel, of course, and they both swivel for party seating, power, all that good stuff. Got a television up top here, been updated. All fiberglass roof, so I mean, there's no stains in the headliner, no signs of leak damage anywhere. And I know the colors may be outdated in this for a lot of y'all, but I, this is the colors I think of when I think of RVs. I mean, carpet's original, looks beautiful, leather furniture. I mean, those those, those are uh, solid surface countertops. They look almost like marble with a high gloss and everything. They even got uh, little accent lights built into the window dressings. Curtain that goes all the way around for privacy. It's got the hydraulic leveling jacks. Whew. Even though this may not be uh, everybody's cup of tea, so to speak, you can still appreciate these. Because if we didn't have motorhomes like this back then, we wouldn't have the motorhomes we have today. And um, this was back when quality meant something to RV manufacturers. Seems like lately, especially during the pandemic built RVs guys. And I'm not trying to knock it out of a, a future inventory I'm gonna sell. I'm just telling you straight from the heart, straight from the truth. Seems like now on this new stuff, all manufacturers care about is getting it past the factory warranty stage. After that, they don't care if it falls apart the day after the warranty expires. In other words, guys, even on a brand new American Dream or American Coach, when it's 21 years old, I seriously doubt it's going to, the, these new 2022 models, when they get the age of this one, it's going to look anywhere close as good as this one does. That's because of the quality and the fact that this thing has been well, well, well taken care of. Of course, you look at what these things cost new, you see why. I mean, this isn't somebody, this isn't the type of motorhome somebody sticks in, uh, backs up behind their, beside their house and, and leaves out there for two or three years at a time between uses, letting the sun fade everything and and all that. I mean, th this is the kind of motorhome people buy that keep it in storage, keep it in a building under a shed, cover or something. Sleeper sofa right here, leather. They look those pillows aren't hiding anything. That's just what we got them set up. Um, table and chairs. It does have the extra leaf at the table right there. It's not broken. This is a same solid surface that's on the countertops a bevel glass ceramic tile no cracks in it that means you've got a good riding chassis especially after 82,000 miles all the sink covers nobody's broke them over the past 21 years are the stovetop covers i mean these things are tight too big stainless steel double basin sink 
like I said, these are very high gloss Corian counter. I'm gonna try to open that it's so tight, not with one hand. Stove eye, it looks great there. Back eyes, don't look like they've ever been lit. Microwave and convection oven, so this is both. Man, what a coach, guys. Refrigerator, look how clean this thing is, and it's, it's already getting cold. And we've already checked this unit out because we had it checked out for the gentleman that was gonna buy it. So the only thing we got left to fix is the turn signals, and it's ready to go as far as what we guarantee to work. Uh, which is a refrigerator, freezer, the slide outs, the generator, and both the roof ACs. Um, let's walk into the bathroom area. Matching solid surface sink. My God, this thing's quality. I mean, these cabinets are totally different than what you see in just a, like a, you know, of course this is built, this is technically owned by Fleetwood, but it's entirely different division and built totally different than Fleetwood's are. That's why it's got a fiberglass roof, different kind of cabinets in them, hardwood cabinets. I mean, there's nothing in this thing. Very few components in here are the same as a, a Fleetwood. In fact, it's just Fleetwood in name only. Like, so this is their own little, their own little thing. Big shower, of course you got the fold down seat. Um, skylight looks great. Water closet right here. Of course it's got sea land toilet, which is the best you could buy back then. Show how clean that fantastic bent fan is. You do have a washer and dryer in here. We gotta put a bed spread in it, but there's your washer and dryer combo. Which not everybody needs one of them, but if you do, that's gonna save you about 24, 2500 bucks having that in there. There's all your books and manuals and there's service records in here. I mean, a lot of history comes with this coach. Rear bedroom, Queen Island bed. We're gonna put a bed spread on it, but this is the original uh, mattress. The, the, the super posture is what they called them back then. It still looks great. No stains on it. Man. And this ugly guy will go with you if you want to go camping. Well, it depends on where you go. It does have a satellite receiver right here. It's got some kind of dish on the roof, but I always tell people when it comes to satellite dishes on used RVs, just buy it under the assumption that they're obsolete. And if they are not, just consider it a free bonus. Of course, your slide out control for the bedroom. Man, it's such a beautiful rig, guys. Solid. Like I said, there is nothing on the market anywhere close to this for 54.9 in any brand. Cedar closets, not just on the side walls, the whole thing. <laughs> like I said, this was their biggest and best, guys. Original television up there. Both ACs are on, blowing cold, feel good. Solid sliding doors. Well, folding doors, if I can do this one-handed. Yep. Fantastic bit fan there. No stains in the headliner. And you got a solid, just regular sliding door there. Man, I'll tell you, I just, uh, I guess you could call this a retro coach being over 20 years old, but man, oh man. Oh, if only. Like I said, it's 54.9. I think that's really light on the price. Now, you know, you, you be your own judge of that. And I'm not looking about. I'm looking at the quality of it and the condition of it for the price. When you get so far back, your model don't mean a thing. I'm looking at what's on it, the way it's built, the motor, everything about it in general. For 54.9, that's a gas gas burner price almost. And you've got a motor home, that spark, it's got the best of the best, everything. 
Spartan GT mountain chassis that you take care of this motor home you can put four or five hundred thousand miles on if you take care of it keep it repaired and serviced over the years I don't think any, any one person could ever wear this rig out you know great you know great power of course you know it's not as fast as some of them because this thing's so darn heavy so it's going to be a little bit slower even with that 350 but I mean, I cruise on the interstate 70 miles an hour with the cruise control on and just, I, I, I could see myself getting sleepy if I did that too long. That, this is, like I said, this is the most comfortable driving motorhome I think I've ever been in. Well, and that's just the way these things were back then. I mean, they were heavy. The heavier they are, the better they're built. Um, now guys keep in mind this is a 2001 so I doubt I'm going to have any financing available if you need financing You're probably going to have to go to one a few years newer um, Or check with your bank or credit union my nationwide lenders are not going to loan on 2001 no matter how nice it is They just they, they cut it off at certain years even no matter how good your credit is and that's where they cut it off at um, You know I, I sometimes I can get a on 04 but if i go any further than that there's pretty much not even financing right now but no it's not saying that you can't go to your bank or local credit union or, or whomever you do business with if you're military you got usaa navy federal all that good stuff um or former military i mean you can always go to one of them see what they can do on it and go from there but 54.9 and that's one of the reasons why we're not pricing this thing higher because you know at the very minimum this thing should be at least 59.9 if not 64.9 and that's my opinion but we got a really good deal on it you know normally if i just paid an average deal for it that's what i'd have to sell it for i got a good deal on it so i'm selling a good deal 54.9 guys try and i dare you to try to find a nicer coach than this for that price anywhere and i'm not talking about a cheap coachman or uh, you know or any of these other diesels because they don't hold a candle to this it's like comparing a, a used uh, basic little Kia four-door small car to a loaded out Lexus full-size car it, there's no comparison guys or Mercedes man let me know in the comments what you think even if it's not your style motorhome anybody can appreciate this thing. I mean, look at these original carpets there's no stains in it i mean this thing's just amazing condition inside and out i mean this thing looks like a motorhome that's 14 15 years newer and i love this thing guys you know it's an 01 heck if i was retired and was able was going to hit the road for several months this is something I could see myself buying and doing that in, even though if it is that age, because of the quality. I mean, like I said, the 2022s are not going to hold up near this well when they get this age, which is going to suck for future RV, uh, future used RV sales. But by that time, new generation can deal with it. I'll be I'll be out of it. <laughs> but. Um, Wow. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you want this motor home, and guys, I cannot stress to you enough, call, have that credit card ready. I, I, this is one that the phones, if I get it put on the night before 6 o'clock, they'll start ringing. If not, 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, first thing. And I mean, as soon as that clock goes from 8.59 to 9, my phone system turns on. Get on the phone and call if you want this thing. Have your credit card ready. This is one of them that we'll probably have 20 phone calls in the morning before 9.15, everybody wanting to buy it. Because you are never gonna find a motorhome like this for this price again with this kind of quality. And, um, wow. I'm so glad I got to shoot it. This made my week just being able to shoot this because I, I don't sell. I put these things on the internet and I get paid to do the marketing. So it don't matter to me if it sells or not. Once I do my video and pictures, I get paid on every one I do. So I'm good. But wow. I love it, guys. And whoever gets this thing, give it a good home. It deserves it. 
and please 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 don't start painting walls cabinets i mean it's your motor i know you can do what you want but if you do start i think you'll ruin it and please don't tell me about it if you do decide to do that because i don't want to hear it because motor homes like this i don't come across every single day or even every single you know six months i mean this is this is definitely going to be one that i'll probably get a ton of views over the next few years on this video i can guarantee you that um wow again guys let me know what you think in the comments below call 706-965-7929 if you can't write that down or remember it look in the video description below it'll be in there websites parkwayrbcenter.com link in the video description below to that yeah i'm gonna say to end the video i like this thing so much keep in mind 54.9 is a 100 percent hackle free firm price doesn't matter how you pay for it or how far you come first person that's got that kind of money in his pocket about two minutes after he walks in this they'll be pulling it out counting it out to buy it is that kind of coach anyway um we take trade-ins we have nationwide delivery for a dollar fifty a mile one way um we don't charge for the return trip call before coming to look and if you don't leave a deposit on it you're probably not going to be able to buy it that's the only way we can really take it off the market especially on something hot like this so again if you got questions call one of my salespeople right now 706-965-7929 don't email don't leave a text or a message or a messaging service because they don't answer those leads till after they get done with the morning onslaught of phone calls so those are secondary phone calls and people in front of us are primary call i know it's old school but if you want this motor home call in the morning 9 a.m sharp eastern time if it's 8 59 my answering service will pick it up just hang up wait till nine o'clock and call back i hate to say that but this is the kind of demand this coach will be on um this is a coach that you can justify traveling anywhere in the united states to buy thank you again so just hit that subscribe button hit the, if you're on facebook like my facebook page rv's with big bow and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia